Tonight on System Busters, we take a look into the mysteriously disappearing spoof OS Windows Crap Edition 3 software. But first, a word from our sponsor. How you doing everyone? Mike Rosoft here. I'm here today to promote a group called Majestic on YouTube. And what they do is that they promote electronic music and a lot of it you've probably never heard before. So if you love discovering new music, especially electronic music, click this annotation now to hear what all the hype is about. Check them out and tell them I sent you. Thank you. For years, many people pondered this question. Whatever happened to version 3 of SpoofOS Windows Crap Edition? Well, today we are going to take a look at what truly happened. Did the people giving the demo tell the truth when they said they had a beta version, but a virus got on it and it blew up the servers? I may be wondering what happened to 3.0. Well... We installed it on our servers to test out the beta and we got a virus and it pulled them all up. Are they being truthful or is there a little more to it? Is there an interesting twist that we don't know? Find out tonight on System Busters. February 2nd, 2009, 12.10pm. Mike Rosoft and the rest of the SpoofOS Incorporated team are getting ready to set up their big debut for 3.0. The next day would hold a very special moment for the company as they would be releasing and announcing 3.0 for the very first time to the public. But a disturbing phone call then comes through and it's from the FCC. Thank you for calling Spoof OS Incorporated Executive Offices. This is Mike Rosoff speaking. How can I help? Yeah, hi Mike. This is Doug from the FCC office. I'm calling regarding your product launch for Spoof OS Windows Crap Edition 3.0 tomorrow during your press conference at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Yeah, what about it? I thought we already had all of the clearance. Well, there seems to be a bit of a hiccup with the approval process. We recently discovered some source code inside the kernel and some other components of the operating system that may be a little too sophisticated and dangerous for just communicating with other technologies. Loading on a server could cause some serious damage and communication interference, so we're going to have to call it off for now. But my team has worked so hard. I mean, we were just about to launch it. You can't just pull the plug now. I'm sorry, Mike, but this is going against several government regulations. We can schedule a meeting for when we can go over the changes and see how to get this thing approved again. No, I will not tolerate this. I will make you pay. I will unleash so much crappy software and other products into the world that you will not be able to withstand how crappy they are, and you will bow down to my wrath and my power when I dominate this enterprise. Mike, it sounds like you've been hitting the booze again. You may want to lay off of that stuff. Who knows? If you keep going down this path, you may create a whole series of spoof OS softwares that cause pain and turmoil in the users that try to get along with their lives. It sure was not easy for Mike Rosoff to let go, and the situation just made things worse. Throughout the years, he and his company have released several iterations of Crap Edition, along with the Xbox 2, and they are working on Hack OS 10, a PlayStation 0, and the Sauce Pad. So now we know the company doesn't just suck, but they intentionally suck, and all of these future products were made as part of a revenge plot. But now we must backtrack and discover why did the Crap Edition 3 project get cancelled? What SpoofOS Incorporated didn't want people to know was that Crap Edition 3 actually held a lot of sophisticated technology. The operating system was to be at least 47,000 years ahead of the current technology available. But this technology was too powerful. just trying to help make my contribution to the team but every time I use the software it's like it 
thoughts for me. It was so good when we worked on the artificial intelligence, but it became too... The AI became too powerful and started controlling things and contacting people, like reading my mind and sending my family members messages and hacking into my other hardware. It's, it, it's transferring my data where I didn't want it to go. It's, it, people found out stuff about me that I didn't want them to... And that's okay, you can stop if you need to. I'm sorry. We wanted to make it good. It maybe even changed the name from crap to something else. We just wanted to make it good. We made it too good. This tragedy did not just apply to this one developer, but in fact, the team of all of the developers experienced these issues. In addition, all of the exclusive beta testers had these problems as well. So, this case was brought to court. In the end, Spoof OS Incorporated was ordered by the judge to pay for the damages they have caused. The total payment came out to be $11.46. Microsoft went into a downward spiral of drinking and drug use. The company's stock plummeted. The share price dropped from 15 cents to a shocking 14 cents. The Dow Jones Industrial Average took a massive hit. It wasn't because of this, it was just because there was a recession. In the end, CE3 was supposed to be good for humanity, but it was too far ahead of its time. So the company is planning to rebrand it as version 13 and release it sometime within the next 700 years. These leaked keynote presentation slides also show that an executive board shift thingamawatsit is also going down at the company, and a lot of rearranging of the staff is underway. However, it is still such a shame that being too intelligent is not really an idea that is accepted well by society. It behaves as a threat. It endangers people. Or at least that's the illusion that people see. So what we can take away from this lesson is don't be special, be like everyone else, don't be intelligent, and you will help everyone else live a better life, and you'll affect everyone around you in a positive way. I'm Batman. <laughs> what a load of shit that was. Hey, man, I think they bought it. <laughs> <laughs> you bet they did. <laughs>If you wish to stay updated with Computer Clan uploads, smash that subscribe button and hit that like button if you like the video. Want to get a behind the scenes look at the Computer Clan? Feel free to sign up on our CC Backstage forum. And if you wish to see more content from us, visit us on thecomputerclan.com.